Welcome to News at 6. Coming up, AJ will make you feel bad for all the money mistakes that you've made. You won't want to miss it. Tune in for more. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Wealthy Idiot Show. My name's AJ. Today I'm going to talk about debt. And we're going to go over the four kinds of debt that make up all the kinds or all the debt that we take out as individuals. I'm not going to talk about the way that bank cla- uh, clarifies debt, just sort of the general idea of what debt is where and what it means. Um, and I'm going to give you a little bit of a teaser. There are three kinds of bad debt and one kind of okay debt, right? So none of it's good, but one of it is okay. And you're going to want to stay tuned for more. Before we get there, go ahead and like down below and subscribe. That helps us out tremendously. Um, and if you are out of any kind of debt, leave us a comment. Just let us know what you did um, and how excited you feel about being out of debt. It's going to go a long ways. I think it'll motivate some people if they read through the comments. So comment down below and let us know. So really, really quick before we get into anything else, what is debt? Debt is taking money from some kind of institution, person, or anything um, with the promise to pay them back later. And you're going to spend that money on something now. Um, Debt could be anything from making quick purchases to buying homes. Um, As long as you're taking money from someone with the intent of paying them back. It could be one lump sum payback or over time. Generally, there's a charge to debt, some kind of interest as attached to it. So the the more backed a debt is, otherwise known as secured debt, um, like when you purchase a house or something of that effect, Um, the less interest rate you're going to pay or the less cost to that debt there's going to be. So the way I like to think about debt, I think this is the best way to think about it, is that debt is borrowing from your future self because you're going to have to pay it back and you're going to pay someone else to do that. You're going to take money from your future self and you're going to pay the bank in order to do that. I think it's a horrible idea for the most part. Um, and I know our uh, best friend Dave Ramsey is going to love us for shouting that out. Um, in general, that is a horrible idea. Our data says that the shortest direction, the shortest distance between you and wealth is having no debt. Um, so the first kind of debt is consumer debt. Consumer debt is any kind of debt on anything that you don't absolutely need to survive. Uh, we're going to classify it as anything that's not an absolute need. And I need to clarify that is that when I say, when we say need in today's society, we all have sort of a different definition of what that is. And when I say need, what I mean is like the bare minimum for survival. You have a roof over your head, you have clothes in your closet, you have food on your table, your utilities are still working. That's absolute need. Need is not the unlimited data plan on your cell phone the guacamole at Chipotle, or uh, anything extra, buying a movie to entertain yourself, none of those are actual needs. And then if you spent money, so let's say you're going all the way till payday, and then uh, the day before payday, you have $10 left, and you need to go buy food. So you go buy something for $15 on your credit card. That's not a need. You have $10 to buy food. That's what you have to buy food. So anything above that is now consumer debt. If you spent your money all week long without a budget and you get to the last day before payday and all you have left is a tiny bit like $10 or none and you have to go buy food, that also counts as consumer debt because you spent your money on once and now you have no money left for needs. It's still consumer debt. Consumer debt is the absolute worst kind of debt and it's the debt that we have to avoid the most in order to protect ourselves. The banks are making billions of dollars on us every year. Let's look that up. Just a single bank made over $3 billion on credit card interest in a single year. That's crazy. We have to stop paying these guys to let us take from ourselves in the future. All right, so now that I'm done beating you up, on how horrible credit card debt is and consumer debt is. The next category of debt is emergency debt. Now this is an absolute need if you're, if you're spending this kind of money. This is like you've budgeted, you're within your budget, 
You even have been saving for an emergency fund, right, in order to ensure that you're protected for the future. But the emergency fund isn't going to cover this emergency. Could be anything from car breaking down. And let's say you have 500 in your emergency fund and your car repair is $800. Well, 300 goes on that credit card. You pay that off as fast as humanly possible and you rebuild that emergency fund. That's your life for the next few months. Um, could be hospitalization bills. You uh, had an emergency. Your insurance only covers to a certain point, so you have to pay some kind of deductible, and you don't. Your emergency fund doesn't cover that. Now, when I say emergent or when I say emergency debt, this includes the fact that you have been preparing for emergencies with some sort of emergency fund. So, if you haven't been doing that, if you haven't been saving up in order to protect yourself or your family, and then you have to use credit cards or something in order to pay those emergencies, that's now consumer debt. It's no longer a need. Remember the last example where we spent all of our income on wants and then we had no income for needs later? This also counts. So we have to prepare for emergencies so we have the money for those emergencies later. And emergency debt only counts when we've done that and it's still not enough. Right? That's the only time it counts. Uh, but I know some of you are going to ask, like, hey, um, we need a car. So how do we, how do, we do cars? So my, my favorite answer for cars is, the Dave Ramsey method on cars. So most people, the average monthly car payment in the United States is $568. That's a crazy amount of money for a car payment. There's no need to be buying a car, that much car, on a loan at all, ever. If you can afford to buy that much of a car, you should be buying it with cash. And so the Dave Ramsey method, which is my favorite method, is buy yourself a car that works, that's reliable, that's $5,000, like a Toyota Corolla, a Honda Civic, something that's not going to need repair, and take this $568 a month that you would be paying towards a car and start putting it into a bank account. And then when you've saved enough money, so $568, I mean, $500 a month at 10 months is $5,000. So you take that, you trade in the other car, which is still going to be valued around $5,000, and now you have $10,000 to go buy a $10,000 car. You do this enough times, and you'll have a nice car for a long period of time that won't need to get swapped out that you won't be paying a loan for. So, that's not con um, so that would be considered consumer debt, buying a car on a loan. All right, so what's the, the third kind of debt? The third kind of debt is uh, gambly debt, right? And some people classify it as business debt but we all know it's gambling debt and you can tell. So what, um, what a lot of people have done is they take out loans in order to buy things like stocks, um, things that don't have much backing value or guaranteed value, right? So you can take out loans and buy like business items or things that you think are going to make you money. And then when you don't make money, you're stuck with this loan to pay off over time. So this is what um, Dave Ramsey talks about when he talks about how he really messed himself up when he started off in his career uh, in real estate. And what he did was he took a bunch of um, variable rate loans, loans that could be called back every month. So it was a real gambly debt and he put it against houses and then the housing market crashed and he had no way to sell these houses for the value that the loan was taken out at. And so when the bank knocked on his door and said, you have to pay back these loans, he was stuck trying to pay the loans back. Um, and he could not sell the houses for enough value. So he ended up going bankrupt and having to start the whole process over. That's a gambly debt, not a good kind of business debt. So the fourth kind of debt, the last and fourth kind of debt is secured backed business debt. So this is the kind of debt where you... You have made all the right decisions. Um, you've taken all the risks into consideration. You know all the numbers, everything there is to know about it. And you take the loan out in order to start some sort of business. Um, or the other kind is buy some kind of home to then rent out. And that's called leverage debt. Um, so what I mean by it's, it's okay, what I mean is this is still risky. Any kind of debt is still risky. 
But at least with this kind of debt, there is a way to measure all the numbers in order to ensure that you're making the best decision possible with that debt. And you're mitigating those risks as much as humanly possible. Um, if you'd like to know more about um, real estate investing, I would highly recommend checking out uh, Chandler Smith. I'll link to him in the description below. Give him a, um, a look up and he covers how to take a look at a rental property and determine whether or not that rental property is capable of pulling money or is capable of producing money, paying off the loan, being stable um, for a long term. And that includes things like repairs. And he even covers how to ensure that when there's a stock or there's a, an economy drop, that you're still above water enough to be able to protect yourself. And uh, that's why I consider this debt to be okay. Not great, but okay. All right. So that's about it for today. Uh, we covered three, or we covered four, times, four kinds of debt. Consumer debt, emergency debt, um, risky, gambly debt, and business debt. Uh, and your goal is to, your goal should be to stay out of those first three as much as you possibly can. Stay out of those first three. Start getting uh, an emergency fund. Start getting on a budget. Start, uh, or don't don't gamble by uh, taking out loans and then gambling with it. Um, and then lastly, once you've sort of built up some kind of portfolio, like a big enough portfolio, then you can start looking at that okay debt in order to try and make money. Um, and lastly, go ahead and like and subscribe. Check out our website. We got good articles. We just posted a real estate article. It's going to show you how to make that as a side or take real estate or use real estate as a side hustle, bring in that extra revenue so that you can start your wealth journey or continue your wealth journey depending on where you're at. I want to thank you for stopping by and hopefully we see you again soon.